thank you for 200 subs. Here is a desk review, I mean a desk tour. Oh, at 500 subs, maybe I'll show off the layout, but right now we're gonna look at here. I, I never celebrate milestone videos, so uh, yeah, here we go, let's start. These are my entire collection of Thomas Monroe Thomases, with a 1996, I believe, Thomas. I don't know the dates, but all I know is that it isn't, the wheels aren't exactly flat, but they aren't exactly round, so that's really cool. This is the Henry that started it all. Voice over Henry. So basically, one day me and my best friend that I don't talk to anymore because I moved schools, were playing at his house when I asked him for his Ertl Henry. He agreed, I have it now, so uh, I've kept your legacy well, so I'm so happy for that. Yeah. Okay, uh, all thumb for the- I'm gonna talk a lot for the Shrek. The Shrek I got for, um, my Boy Scouts that I don't do anymore, so uh, yeah, it's nice to have a Shrek in the collection. Lori One, uh, character from my series, Wilbert, let's say police hat. That is Butch, and those are busy books, the only remaining busy books in my collection, because I lost all of them when I was young. Here's the cousin that Uncle Donnie gave to me. It's from Japan, straight from the Japan, so that's pretty cool. There's a Butch, and there's Philip from my series, I mean my movie, that's cancelled, maybe, and I hope that's arrested. Here's the custom parents of Rock and Thomas, and that is a knock on 30, and that is, uh, Beevil, stick bot 1992 is very precious, very beloved Beevil. Uh, we can meet up someday. And then there's uh, my OC, my Ninty OC, so that's pretty cool. The Ginta Boy. This one is a Hot Wheels Chevy Impala, NASCAR Gen 5. That one is the Hot Wheels Thomas diecast, so that's pretty cool. I have the normal version of it. And that is Ertl Bluebell, because fun fact, there's this one store that's really close to me that still sells Ertl diecast and 2000 era Thomas Wooden Railway because they did they refused to sell Thomas Wood, so they are absolutely stacked. They have a surplus of new and bought Ertl still, so I'm stacked. Post along Henry that's best known for my profile picture, Antique Store Henry because I went to an antique store for the first time, and then they had a sticker face Ertl Henry from 1985, so... Uncle Donnie Pepsi Truck? Uh, a thousand subscriber trophy that I made myself because YouTube wouldn't give me one. $300 inside that money bank in cash? Like, paper cash, so that's pretty cool. There's Splatter Dodge and Skiff and Lego Sir Top and Hat because I can't even actually have it. Uh, this is a second place, um, Pinewood Derby racing thing, because I'm a Chad and I love racing. This is a Costco receipt, because fun story, I was a child once. This is a funny button that if you press the button, it gives out a little train, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's not on the desk, but just wanted to show this off, this is the Calamity Box, that if you open it, you, uh, you, uh, and a uh, Nintendo-tastic certified Henry the Rosary Studios pen. I love merch, thank you so much. And, and... Last but not least, let's go through the diecast. This is a, uh, Amphibia Ned's Van custom, out of a Ford Transit van, I think. This is a Mark Martin diecast. Three Tony Stewart's, all in different eras. 2013 Kedlowski. Uh, 2018 Auto Club uh, program car. That is just a random Hot Wheels Gen 4 Dodge. Um, that's Jeff Gordon, 2007, I think. And these are two Bill Elliott McDonald's cars. And that probably wraps it up. Thank you so much for 200 sub on the second channel. And, uh, yeah. Thank you so much. This is Henry Zerosa Studios. Enjoy.